What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone, Tone, Tone Tuesday. 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 Today we're going to talk about probably one of the most important skills that I've learned in the past two years and that is, in case you haven't figured out from the clips, it is to play with a pick. And before an army <laughs> comes and attacks me in the comment section saying that real bass players just play with the, with the fingers, let me tell you, I prefer to play with my fingers. It is a much more physical feeling. You know, the response is different because your fingers are in constant, you know, in contact with the bass, so you feel everything that you're playing. You know, it, it is a lot more fun, in my opinion, and you get a, a, a rounder tone, you're fatter, uh, you know, it carries the foundation because you have a lot of low-end content. Especially if you play a little closer to your neck, right? And for genres like reggae or hip-hop or jazz, you know, probably you're gonna play finger style most of the time, if not all the time. Now, for a lot of other genres though, having the ability to play with a pick can be very useful because it opens up new opportunities tone-wise, technique-wise, and also you might be surprised by the ideas that you come up with when you play with a pick because it feels different, so you might play different things as well, so you come up with different bass lines as well. And it doesn't have to be all punk rock all the time just because you play with a pick, right? It doesn't have to be that the whole time, as you could hear from the clips in the beginning, right? The first tune that you heard was You Should Be Dancing by the Bee Gees, which is disco music. Right, so it doesn't have to be rock and roll or punk or metal all the time. For example, in 2019, before the pandemic hit, I was hired for a tour with a band because I could play with a pick and a lot of the stuff or the bass lines that I had to play were pretty up high, palm muted stuff with an, oct an octave pedal on top, so you get like a... different sound than if you were to right so being able to, to have or, or having an extra skill can also get you more gigs and also more recording sessions you might be able to play with different bands because they want you to play with a pick and like I said it opens up more door more doors that tonal wise because maybe for a track that you're recording or one of the songs that you're playing the original bassline was actually played with a pick and then you've adapted it to your fingers and it sounds okay it sounds pretty decent but being able to play like the original it is pretty cool <laughs> and you know i struggled for a long time to play with a pick because i have sweaty hands you know and if i hold a pick normally like, now it's the way you're supposed to hold it, you know, like this. Uh, most picks just f rotate or fall off, so I can't hold a pick, and it felt really, really uncomfortable for the longest time. So I left it, because I used to get this tone. Because, I mean, if I angle my hand like this, how I angle the pick or my wrist, it, I just get that sound. And you don't want to get that sound. You want to get 
don't want to get the note. So I didn't bother practicing with a pick. Now, my mentor here in Münster, where I live, when I was doing my master's degree, he <laughs> convinced me to start practicing with a pick. And, you know, I it took me maybe two weeks to find a, a, a you know, wrist angle to be able to play comfortably and to, to attack the notes and the string the correct way to get a clean note tone. And as you can see, I don't hold it like this and, and do this movement, right? I put my two fingers here and kind of like pinch it. And then that way, that enables me to get out like a 90 degree angle to the string and be able to play correctly and also palm mute. Because if I do it like this, angle my wrist kind of like that and that's just really uncomfortable. Now what I would suggest is for you to be really patient because first you have to find a correct hand position, then you have to get used to holding the pick, then you have to coordinate left and right hand, so it's gonna take time, but if you practice like five minutes a day or ten minutes a day and just going like you know going up and down scales or playing bass lines that you already know but they are played with a pick, or maybe they are not played with a pick, but you try to play them with a pick. That is going to speed up the process. So you can just, you know, play like triad, for example. Focusing on alternating, then you can do like two notes, for example. And, you know, you can do all your bass exercises and do them again with a pick and that's gonna just you know get you more you know comfortable with this technique you get stuff like that and it sounds different than So to sum it up, being able to play with a pick is going to enable you to get your bass tone closer to the recordings that were originally recorded with a pick. It is also going to open you doors for gigging opportunities or recording opportunities. It might also lead you to play different and new bass lines. And you can also experiment with different sounds as well because you get different response out of the bass when you play with a pick compared to the fingers. So if you can, I would definitely suggest or encourage you to at least invest some time and get some basic pick playing skills in your skill book. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.